beside me. Over here. There we go. So, here's a little foam ball, right? Squeezy little guy, cut it in half, put a little smiley face on there. And, you know, I talked about that Tour Striker Club in the intent. So as a golfer, right, as a smart grown-up, you started playing golf at some point. You looked at this thing with loft on it, and you looked down at that golf ball right there, and then we thought, hey, Raj, come on over, bud. You're with me. And Amy, you're with me, too. So we look at this golf ball down here, and we look at this thing, and to some degree we go, you know what? i got to get this thing to make the golf ball go up. I am going to make that ball. I'm gonna, if it kills me, I'm going to make it go up. So I'm standing, you know, and I'm trying with like the Dickens to make it go up. And that's usually how a lot of folks will start the game to some degree, right? Now you're beyond that, okay? You're beyond that. But there's still a little nuance of that in there. You're like, I don't know if I'm beyond that yet, right? But there's a little nuance of that in there. Now, that this metal thing attached to the bottom of this stick. Safe to say we can all start at a starting form and go to a finishing form. But can we really trust what happens in the middle of that? Can we really trust it? I can't sometimes. Guilty. I've been playing this a long time. Okay. I want to hold on sometimes a little too hard, John, and not give up control to gain control. Right? As I get older, I have some things that are tugging my balance, awareness away from me that I have to be mindful of. I've got some things that are maybe good in certain parts of my game that aren't good in other parts of my game. Right? I really like the target line too and maybe want to make the golf ball go straight as well, Adrian, okay? But as we kind of work through some stuff developing our impact, our striking and growing that in our time together here. So here's a foam ball that I'm going to put between the shaft and my trail hand index finger. And we'll call this a point of concentration, right? This point of concentration is the last point between the golf club head and our hands. And what is lag, you guys? Okay, you've all heard this mystical word, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, of lag. What is lag? What do you think, Raj? Well, the way I've heard it described from Lausanne, it's like retention. Retention of the angle that is... Retention of the angle, exactly. And that's, that's a massively confusing, problematic thing. Because people look at a good player and they look at this angle and then they try to sustain this condition of angles coming into a golf ball. Right? You all played some baseball, I guarantee you, and you played some softball, and when this ball came towards you, what would you do? You kind of, you stepped and you hit it, right? And if you looked at where this ball was in space, if somebody could time up a picture of you doing that, you'd probably look something like this, and you'd say, yeah, look at that, that bat, ha I certainly didn't hit it like this, right? There's a moment of this coordinated event of maybe weight pressure into the lead foot, a little bit of rotation, in some, you know, I dare I say, natural ability to move a bat and maybe make contact with where this softball is presented to us here, right? Somewhere in there. And then there's contact, and then the bat, you know, and then you run. And hopefully you walk, because you hit it over the fence, okay? But in golf, it's different. We have this ball on the ground. This ball's not coming to us kind of waist high up here. If it was, it'd be pretty easy, actually. But oh no, it's down here. So if it's down there, guess what? We're inclined to kind of try to pry it off the ground to a degree. Rather than if this, if I'm hitting a golf ball as though some softball is coming at me right here in the middle of this shaft. And I was going to do this behavior and hit this softball. Okay, Adrian's standing there. She's giving me the windmill special at me 90 miles an hour. And that's coming in knee high. And I'm going to hit that thing knee high right there. There would be a lot of similarities. You know, hitting that softball coming in at knee high that would absolutely cream a golf ball down that was on the ground, okay? Now what I want you guys to see if I can develop this feel with you is this just the awareness of this last point of contact between the golf club and your trail hand. And to do that, we can focus, you know, one of my mentor coaches, Ben Doyle, who passed away last year, calls us the point of concentration. Meaning that if I stand in here, and you be my guinea pig, come on up here, my dear. Put your good hands on there and just kind of face this way. Hold the golf club up here for a second. You know, you're just right where you are, face me. Ta -da. Okay, good, and lift your arms up a little higher. Arms up with a bit of structure, good. And let me put this piece, of, whoops, sorry. Let me put this piece of foam in here, and then you're gonna kind of feel that as you wrap your finger around, like so. You got it? Mm -hmm. 
Now you just hold your arms and, and hands up there, okay? Good. Now if I move your shoulders a little bit and go the other way, good. So I'm going to move you one way and the other way. You see what's happening with the golf club, guys? Did Adrian try to flex your wrists? No. Okay. The weight at this end of the, sorry, you're getting tired here. I'm going to do that again. Okay. Do you see that little response? That's lag. This golf club, thank you. You can stay there for a sec. Hold on to that. Well, good. You know what? They probably would be better off if it said whip. What? Well, it is a whip. Okay. So the point is, you know, lag is a confusing thing in golf, but lag is really simple. If something resists changing direction, isn't it? If I drop this, what's it going to do? Well, it's lagging right now. There's pressure on my hand right now. Therefore, it's lagging, right? It doesn't look like a fancy Sergio Garcia whippy looking thing. But believe it or not, when I took her shoulders and moved them fast, what happened to her hands? She's strong and holding that, but you could still see some whip right there, right? Now, we want to be able to take that point of concentration, understand that point of concentration, and deliver it. Now, I could stand there stiff and try to deliver it with my body, but can I really do it? Or does my body have to participate? It sort of has to participate, doesn't it? Okay? See, the awareness is I want you to feel. Okay, come on in here for a sec. You be the guinea pig, because if I can get you understanding it, they'll get it for sure, because you're the newest one of them. Get your good left, get your good hands on. Let's always assume that. Okay? Dynamite. And if I put this in here, now you've got this vivid point of concentration, right? Hold these arms up here in front of you, and just kind of move back and forth a little bit and feel the club put pressure into your hands. Okay, so it's just to soften it up a little so there's just a bit more play there. Do you feel that little bit of concentration as you change direction? So when you change direction, you feel the weight of the club in your hands? A little bit? Awesome. So now take that down to a golf ball for me, Adrian. Okay, I'm going to move the golf ball away for a second. Put the club right here by my foot. Come up closer to me. Flare your feet a little bit like you're going to hit a shot. Now you judge your left hand, sweetheart. Is that how I want your left hand on the golf club? It's not, okay? So when you leave me, this is certain things that you have to be able to do on your own. That's how I want your left hand on the golf club, right? So you've got to be able to do that on your own because if you don't do that, a lot of the, the system falls apart, okay? So when we're making a club move back and we change direction, guess what you're going to feel? You're going to feel the weight of the club in your hands here, okay? Mm -hmm. When you can feel the weight of the club in your hands here, now is the sensation where you can respond by rotating yourself. This will collect the ball or not. And then you, there'll be some journey of this golf club past you with which I want you to kind of try to do your best to kind of arrive in balance. So without a golf ball, guys, watch. Organize your feet so you're standing there kind of on your feet. There you go with your hands organized, your left hand in a good spot. This awareness, when we change direction, we can feel the weight of the golf club flexing our wrists a little bit, John, right? And then can we feel our pelvis rotate a little bit to help drive all this so it overtakes and we can arrive in balance. And you still feel a little bit of pressure there. Your booty's past the ball line. You're nice and tall. Now I'm going to put a ball there. I'm going to put a ball in front of her, okay? And, and it, this is tough because you're all watching. I'm watching. She wants to do well. I don't care if she does well. I want her to do this. I want her to have the awareness of a club head in her hands, eyes on the ball, mind in the weight of the club, and arrive over here. And maybe it hits the heel. Maybe it hits the toe. Maybe she hits the ground. Maybe she doesn't hit anything. That's okay. Because if you can heighten every time and, and, and take that and refine it a sliver every time, that's compounding skill. That's doing amazing, okay? Not going to be amazing right away. Maybe she gets lucky, right? That'd be, un that'd be unfortunate. Then you didn't earn anything, right? Maybe she gets lucky and flushes one. That's not any good. But can we compound the skill to her highly aware? There's the weight of the club in my hands. Okay, I feel that. Ooh, or there's the weight of the club in my hands. Try to help it off, pry it off the ground. You got a tool that's intended to make something go up. There's loft at the end of that stick. Can we let that loft on the end of that stick impress a ball to go wherever it goes based on our speed? Okay, guys? All right? So this shot's going to look like this, Adrian, and then you mimic it best you can. Okay? Literally mimic. Okay? And I'm going to, I'm purposely going to miss. Okay? But mimic it. Take this silly ball, put it in here beside the grip, and this is, this is what we're looking for. See if you can feel, the, see if you can swing the weight of this thing in a sequence. 
and hold your finish. One, one, thou.